Hello, you're most welcome. Yeah, it's Henry the Computer Guy. And in this video, we are going to be designing a simple website in Microsoft Expression Web, uh, but specifically dealing with our frames and interactive buttons. So before we do anything, we are going to first of all create a folder that will keep all the files that we are going to be creating onto our desktop. So you identify any free space on your desktop, then you right click and choose the option that says new then after you click on the option that says folder of course you have to give your folder a name i'm going to be calling it covid just like that and you can always drop it wherever you feel you want so another thing is that i've also downloaded some images related to covid19 and i've already saved them in the folder called pics so we can open it and we also look at uh, those images so these are some of the images we are going to be using into our website. So just like that. I've also uh, created a document that is having some of the content we are going to be putting onto all those pages. Remember, we are going to be having different pages. For example, the home page, which will have the description, the background of COVID-19, a table of some records about COVID-19, page two, which will have how COVID-19 is spread and the symptoms. Page three is going to be having the preventive measures of COVID-19, comparison with some other two diseases, then the organizations to be contacted in case someone is found to be having COVID-19. And lastly, we shall be having page four, which is going to be the gallery page, which will have some of the images about COVID-19. So having known everything that we need to do or to use, uh, we are going to open our software and begin creating our website. So now I'm going to open uh, uh, Microsoft Expression Web 4. Remember, I've already pinned it onto my taskbar. I'll click on it and give it time to open. So just like that, it has opened and we have it when it is empty. Remember, I've said in the beginning that we are going to be using the frame, the frames and the buttons. So I will begin by creating our frame we are going to be using. So if you want to create a frame, you're going to come to File. Then you come to New and choose the option that says Page. And when you click on that page, by default, it will give you some information. For example, the journal and others as you see them. But our concern is only using the frame pages. So I'm going to be selecting the frame pages. Just click on it and it will give you other options that you can choose from. For example, banner and content, content, footer, footnotes and others. But for my case, I'm going to be selecting the header, the footer and the content. So I'll click on it. Then I'll say, okay. So this is the one that we are going to be using. So of course it has the header where we shall put the header. So we have a set initial page. That means that you can already be having a page. Then you set it as the initial page or you can create a new page. We have the second section that is also where we are going to be putting our content or where our pages will be opening from. It is also here. Then down here we have the footer section. Then this side we shall be calling it the navigation. So we can even rename our our frame. For example, I can begin with the header. I right click. I come to the option that says uh, frame properties. Then I can give it a name. For example, let me call it header. Let me Google it, header. Then I come to the content section. I also rename this one, frame properties. I rename it as content. So it's where our content will be loading from. Then I can come down to this one. I right click, I come to the frame properties. I give it the footer. The footer section. Then I'll come to this other last one. I'll give it as navigation. Because it's where our menu is going to be. So I'll call it Navi Navigation. I'll call it Navigation. Just like that. Then I'll say, okay. So we've renamed our, our frame. 
So we are going to be saving this frame. We always save the frame as the default. So I'm going to click on the option that says save. So it will ask me where am I going to be saving this frame. Of course, I'm going to be saving it into the folder we created earlier. So we shall look for the desktop. We click the folder called COVID. Then we open it and save it as the default. Then we can say OK. So it is now our, our default. That is it. So now we are going to be creating our other pages. For example, remember we had uh, the home page, the spread page, the pre Convention page and the gallery page. So we are going to be creating all those pages. Then after we shall create the buttons. So let me begin by creating the page for the header. So I'll click on new page. So I'm going to type everything that I feel I want. For example, I can say that I'm going to write, let's say, let me copy it from here. Uh, COVID-19 awareness website in Uganda. Right click and copy, then we come back to our software, we paste it there, control V. So that is the heading that we are having as COVID-19 uh, awareness website in Uganda. We can as well come here and put something. For example, if I wanted to put a picture here, I can come and insert that pic from here or I can come and say insert, then I can say picture from the file so it depends on anything that you feel you want to use there so i can use any of the two that i want so remember we have our picks onto the desktop i'll come to the desktop i pick the option that or the folder that says picks then i'll look for the picture that i want to use for example i'm going to use this one so i'll click insert then i'll come and say pick i'll just call it pick I can even call it logo as a, a description so I can come and say okay so now it is very big so you can even resize your frame to any size that you feel you want so you're seeing that our our image or picture is too big so we can even make it smaller if you feel you want so just click on it you can come and right click and say picture properties then you can come to the option that says appearance and you change the size for example i can say let's say 150 oh let me say just uh, uh let's say 90 and see how it will look like it is just there so we can as well bring back this one to that option or if at all you don't want to use that option i've used you can as well come and click on it then go on resizing it the way you feel you want then you can bring back the section that is that so at the end we can also put another image for example i can come and say insert image i can pick the same and say okay i can call this one pick two i can also put the description just like that so it is just like that So the image is just very big down here. We can as well make this one a little bit big and uh, we resize the image, right click. Then we come to picture properties. We give it uh, appearance. We give it, uh, let's say, uh, 90 also, the way we did onto the other one, such that it becomes smaller. Then we can as well go on resizing it to something that is small. Then we bring back this one. Because it is very small, we can make it a little bit bigger just like that i think that is i think that's enough that's enough just like that so we can bring back this option and we have our heading here so now we are going to be saving this one as the head or the header so we come and click on the option that says save we give it uh a name for example i can call it head let me make it in small letters i call it head or header then i can also change the title to something that is a header just like that 
So after that I click OK, then I'll look for where am I saving. I'm saving in the folder called COVID. Yeah, that's what we created. Then you say OK and you save. So we've already saved our, our top section or the header. Then we come to the option that says uh, where we are going to be including our content. This is going to be, for example, by default, it will open the home page just like that. So we can create that page from here. So I can click on new page. Then I start putting the content that is going to be onto the first page or the home page. So I'll come onto my document. I'll start copying this content. I can copy it at once. For example, I need to copy the whole of this up here. I'll right click and copy, then come and paste it into my my website i'll press ctrl v to paste the content there so for example i can even remove this one can press enter then up here you write something that indicates that it is a home page let me see i'll click and say home page then i can put it in the center highlight it you come and put it in the center then you can make it bold you can even give it some color let's say red just like that you can apply so you can as well try to make some of the changes you can call it a header or heading one just like that home page it depends on what exactly you want to put so if i wanted to put an image here i can come and press enter i add an image for example I'll come and say insert I'll come to picture, then from file. I'll look for any image I want to use there. So for example, I bring this one as coronavirus. I'll select it. Then I'll say, let's say pick three. Just like that. You see, it is very big. You can right click and uh, come to the picture properties. Uh, come back to appearance. Then you can give it, let's say 200 just like that you can as well decide to put it in the middle then you can even resize it accordingly so that is the image we have onto the first page so we have this one as our as our uh, home page we can add some other content because we are still having a table we can press enter then we come and design a simple table here uh, we are going to come to the tables then we have two columns remember we are going to be designing something of this kind we need two columns and how many rows six one two three four five six so we come back to our software we design a table of that kind we come to table then two columns then how many rows six finally our table is there so we can as well make some modifications on the table for example by double clicking on it we can as well come and put the borders when we give the border some color and say okay we can even put borders such that they are visible so we copy the other content and include it here so i'll come and copy the first one is details Control c for copying then you come and put it here Control v Control e to put it in the center then i can resize it again the way i feel i want so this side we need uh, these values, Control C, then coming back here, Control V, then Control E to put it in the center. So just like that, we copy the first uh, confirmed cases, Control C, then come here, Control V, then we come back to our Control C for copying, then here, Control V for pasting just like that so i might uh, pause the video and copy everything here such that we don't waste a lot of time here so finally we have uh, included the all the information into our our table so we add something else that we need for example we come back to our document and i think that is enough for for page one so that's what they wanted on page page one so we can go back to our software so we have included everything that we wanted onto our our home page so we can also click save and call it home so we are going to be saving it as home then we can change the title to home again just like that 
and click OK. So we are saving in COVID again. Yes. So we have saved our home page also here. So now we have this other side that is going to be having the navigation after our home page. We come to the spread. So we are going to be creating those uh, buttons at this side. So we are going to click new page. Then we come and include what we call the interactive buttons. So where do we get the interactive buttons? We come to insert and we come to the option that says interactive button. So after clicking the interactive button, you're going to select the button of your choice. For example, they are here, there's this one, there's this one. So you pick any that you feel you want to use. I'm going to use this one. So I'll change the text I want to be there. For example, I'll call the first one as home. Just like that. Then here we shall be giving it a link to the page we want to connect to. So at the moment we are just going to create the buttons then we shall link them after creating all the pages. So I will click OK. We give it some time as it's loading. So finally our home is there. We can click enter and put another button. We have said come to insert, come to interactive button then you pick the button and put the text you want to use so i'm going to put spread here this will be for spread page just like that press enter go to the next line and put another insert then you're going to create another button which is going to be prevention just going to be prevention uh, we shall link it later then you can come and say okay press enter again uh, you can as well put another one, which is going to be uh, gallery. Uh, change this one to gallery. Change this to gallery. Uh, you shall also link it later. By the way, you can as well put external links here. For example, you wanted to put a link to Google or let's say YouTube, you can as well put another one. Let's press enter and put two of them. Shall come to insert, then we command click on interactive buttons i want to link this one to google so i can give it a, a for example a name which is again go google so i'll put a link for that one of course we know that one it is www.google.com so it will direct us to that then we we add another one the last one which is going to be let's say youtube insert come to interactive button then you pick the button of your choice, come and change the text to, let's say, you, YouTube. So you can come and put the link here, let's say, www.youtube.com. These are external links. That means that it can take you out of here to a place that you feel you want, or site that you want to visit. Then you can say, okay. So these are the buttons that we have for now. We want to create another one here then that is going to be the footer so i can come and say create i can come and say fight fight against fight against uh, covid that is going to be our footer we can make this one a little bit bigger then we put it uh, we can as well highlight it uh make it bold you can put it in the center we can even make it italic just like that that is going to be our our footer so you can as well put some colors if you feel you want you can come and right click and come to the page properties again and make some modifications for example formatting you pick a background color for that footer if you feel you want to add it there just like that so even here, you can as well come and right click, come to the page properties, come and click on formattings, then you pick a different color for that. So I can say I want to use this just like that. So I can come and choose a background for my top by coming to the page properties. I will come to formattings, then I will come and choose a color for that header. Let me choose this one. I will come and say just like that. No, it's not all that good. We can change it. So page properties formattings, then we can as well come and pick any other color that we feel we want. Can we use blue? Let's use blue and see. 
then we change this word to let's say something that that is white for it to be visible on blue so we come to the font color then we choose white and click apply just like that so our website is just like that so we have that home page already so we need to create other pages for example the spread the prevention the gallery those are the three pages we are going to create so we can save this all remember that so we had one page we created one for the header we created one for the uh, for the home we have created one for the footer and one for the navigation so we have to save all those pages just like that i can come and click here on the navigation then i can come and say save so i call that one navigation navigate navigation then i can change the title to again navigation navigate navigation just like that i can come and say save then i can come and click ok i come back to the footer again then i will say i'm going to save this one as footer I'll come and change the title again I put footer then I'll come and say okay then I'll come and click save so we have saved this one we have saved this this and this so we are remaining some spread page the prevention page and the gara gara rate so we have to design those pages so whenever you want to create a new page you'll come to file new then come to htm L, which is hypertext markup language so i'm going to create this page for example it is going to be for the spread so i'll come and type spread spread page i'll put this in the center i'll highlight it i make it bold i give it a color for example red color just like that I can as well even change it to let's say heading one depending on exactly what I feel I want can even give it extra large just like that so that is the spread page so we are going to put all the information that is supposed to be on the spread page I'll come here and copy that information so we need the whole of this information to that page so I'll highlight them and copy it to that uh, that page up to here so i'll come and click copy then i'll come back to my software i paste that information there for example if i told you wanted to put some images there you can as well put the images for example i can put uh, press enter come here insert an image i feel i want so i can come and put this one and another one any two i can put any two just like this i press ok there are two images i've put there i can even make them bigger just like that those are the two images we've included onto that page we can save the page by clicking here we save it as a spread we save the page as a spread then we change the title to again spread then we can come and say okay then save so our page two has also been saved then we can as well come and create another page which is going to be the the prevention page we come and say file new then we come on to html which is the hypertext markup language we call this one prevention prevention page we can as well put this in the center you can make it a uh, bold you can even give it a color which is red we can even give it extra large just like that then we come down we copy the other information then we put it the uh, preventive measures then we have some other information comparison some other two diseases then organization contacted in case someone is having covid19 right click and copy 
then come back to the software then you paste control V just like that so you can as well indicate some images there if you feel you wanted to I can come and press enter then I can put a picture by coming to insert or choose any picture I feel I wanted so I can come and click on this one press control I look for any other pic let's say vaccinating someone someone being vaccinated can pick another one uh, let's say checking the temperature of someone uh, just like that I can say insert okay two then three so we make them smaller then we can align them to the right uh, just like that to the left sorry then we make this one smaller so that they can fit onto the same line just like that make it smaller so those are some of the images we have onto that page we can add others if you feel you want so we can remove this other space that is not usable just like that uh, so that is what we have on page on the prevention page we can as well click save and save that prevention page so you can call it preve prevention prevention then you can come and change the title to something that is preve prevention then you can click OK. So we are remaining with only one page and that is the gallery page. We come and click on file, then new, then HTML. We call that one gallery. Gallery page. So we can put this, uh, we can make this bold. can put it in the center. We can give it a red color. We can make it extra large. You can even change the font style. You can even change it to a heading, anything that you feel you want. So down here, we are going to create a table that is going to be con containing the images we are going to use as our gallery. So we shall come to the table. Then I will need one image, two, three. Uh, there will be only, okay, let me, let me make it three images. So this will be one two then three we shall be leaving some spaces there then one space two then three just like that so this is where we are going to be putting our images so i'll come and say insert then picture from file i'll choose an image for example i'm going to put this i'll say okay i make it smaller because i want them to fit all then I will jump one space. Let me make it smaller. Just like push it just close to this. So this is a, a space I'm going to jump. I'll put another image here. Insert an image. Let me say I want to put this one. Which is okay. I'll make it smaller. Depending on the one that I already have. Just like that. Or I can make them a little bit big for them to be visible. Then I can jump another space, which is going to be this. Uh, we add another image here. Uh, let me see, we insert another image. For example, this one's washing their hands. Uh, okay, just like that. We make it smaller, we make it smaller. Just like that, make this one just like that this one smaller just like that so we make it a little bit smaller then we add some other images here insert we come and get another image some medicine make it smaller compared to those we already have smaller we add another one make it smaller compared to the ones we already have just like that we add another one uh, look for another one uh, we add another one just like that 
we make it smaller compared to the ones we already have just like that just like that we add the last uh, row of images we come and get uh, something of uh, this kind we make it okay then we make it smaller compared to the ones we already have just like that we add another one this is how we can add the images and this one's wearing a mask we put it there okay we make it smaller compared to the ones we already have just like that then we we'll add others uh, we can add another one just like this okay then we make it smaller right click come to the picture properties you can first of all come to the appearance and give it something like uh, let's say 50 to be smaller you hold the parameters you drag a little then you make it somehow big compared to the ones we already have so this is what we have onto the gallery page we can also save it so click ok then save it as gallery then you change the title again to gallery just like that then you press ok then you can say okay so we have designed all our pages but remember we said we have our default we want all the pages to be opening from this section which is the content section so we have to link these pages such that they can open from this section so we are going to come back to our home button then you right click and come to the hyperlink we link it to the home page we browse it and click home okay link it to the home page then we say okay then we come to the spread page double click on it command also link it to the spread page we look for the spread page which is here and click okay then okay then we have the prevention double click on prevention command look for the page you want to link it to this is prevention we look for prevention okay then we come and link gallery double okay we say okay come and also link gallery double click on it come and look for the gallery page then press okay then okay so we have linked them but remember we said we want them to open through this section that is having the content where you also see this so what you are going to do is to come back we come back to uh, let's say the spread page we double click on it remember we have put a link to where it has to be linked then we have this option that says browse so you have to select the target frame where is it supposed to open from i'm going to choose the target frame by clicking onto this then i'll come and select the content it has to open within the content that is okay then of course it was a, a spread let me do it again just like that okay then we do that one for prevention again double click we come and say browse target page target frame of course it has to open through that then we put a link of course it is a, a prevention i click on it just like that okay then we have the gallery page by double clicking on it you'll come and choose the target frame where it has to open from and that is going to be under the the content then okay and again choose the gallery the gallery page just like that then you say okay so these ones we already put the links for example to google and to youtube finally that is what we have to do then we can save all after that you say okay and we have to come and browse and see how it will look like for example if i come here and i will open it through my chrome i want to preview it through my my chrome let me open it and see what it does so finally our website is opening so this is the heading we had these are the pages we are having remember we have already linked them so if i come and scroll through uh, my home page 
I will come to the spread page just like that. It will open just like that. I will come to the prevention page. It will also open just like that. Then if I open gallery, it will take me to the gallery section. And that is what I had there. If at all I was connected to the internet here, then I will also browse for Google. And again, I would browse for YouTube. So that is specifically what I had for you. And uh, we have created a website using the frames and the interactive buttons. If again you come back to home, now oh, there is a mistake here. It is opening within here, but we wanted it to open within this section. So we have to go back and make a modification there. You come to home again, double click on that section. Then remember we are linking it to home, but we have to browse where it has to open from by checking the target frame. So you come and say that course it is supposed to be the home the home we click on it then we say okay after that we can wrap this then we say okay so it has to open within the the same uh, section then we can come and click uh, save so we can come back to our browser then we can refresh then we can click on home, then spread, we can click on prevention, gallery, then back to home. It opens within within our, our content section. So if at all you're new to my channel, please uh, help me and click the subscribe button and the notification bell to always be notified whenever I upload a new video. It's been Henry the Computer Guy. Bye-bye. I sign out.